Welcome to the final part of Mountain Black Adrenaline. We're doing the Grand Canyon. So, Grand Canyon, it's not that interesting, and it's pretty much the worst level to ride in. The game really likes its rocks, and so this place is very rocky and has a lot of jumps in it. And they all suck. And the way the, the challenges are designed also suck. We're going to be using our, uh, you know, our final bike. So you can see I'm using the best one already. But there's that last bike I got. I'm using Tom again. And helmets can go fuck themselves because we have no reason to use them anymore. It does mean, however, that we don't really have anything to unlock now. All we do have to unlock is the future challenges for all three of these modes for Grand Canyon. Because we don't have any unlockables to get now. I mean, sure, there's 100% waiting for us, but as you'll find, 100% in this game doesn't mean jack shit. Anyway, Grand Canyon. It's very bumpy, it's very awkward, it's a lot of rock to keep us stuck in, and, uh, yeah, the trails are gonna be absolute pains in the ass to deal with. This one took me a while to deal with because I was trying to get used to the map and I always got stuck around this area because even the camera cannot handle this little narrow path there. There were a few parts in this map which are just really fucked up and that's one of them. Uh, there's a few more and they are obnoxious and the game expects you to get through them too. So... You're gonna get stuck a few times, and you're gonna restart these challenges a few times because of how bad they are. Again, though, you're seeing pretty much the successful runs, you know, recordings. I'm not giving you the fails here, and you might have noticed this video is pretty much shorter than the last part. We have been going downhill on length the entire Let's Play. And I don't know if that's because I gotten better or because these got shorter to deal with. Like, this map, I honestly believe, is the smallest map in the fucking game, too. So, yeah, the Grand Canyon, a really great place to show mountain biking in an extreme sense. It's just the small fry in this entire fucking game. Like, compared to the first fucking map in the game, this one's just like maybe a quarter shorter than that get my fucking map. Maybe even more. Maybe, maybe it gets close to half as short as that map. Anyway, a lot of these paths, a lot of these collectible ones across country, they're not enjoyable. They really tried to brush them out far and make it obnoxious and shit. However, because I do have the ability to essentially respawn myself into, you know, the very beginning and all, that's gonna make this sort of shit easier. Because I have to worry about the bullshit this fucking map's gonna give me for some of these collectibles in the next cross-country one. Because the next cross-country, the way it's designed, it's almost, like, it's really, really fucking hard to actually get gold in that one, like, normally. I found it better to just cheat. Also, I had to do this to go for these ones, because these collectibles here ain't shit, like, they were horrible, and I got stuck on a rock. Great. Great. This, this game is just fantastic, and I couldn't even see that last one, I got it. So I guess, like, you know, what do you think about the game as a whole, now that we have experienced Grand Canyon, because it's not going to be that much different here. In fact, the game is going to spawn us in this area for about half of these fucking events. So yeah, what do I think about Mountain Bike Adrenaline and all four of the maps? Well, the map sucked, playing this sucked, 
and quite honestly, a lot of these rides were unused, and so are the bikes, due to the fact they all sucked. The only ones that were ever good were the ones on the left, because they had the stats that mattered. The speed, the fucking strength, just, you know, all the shit that mattered, because even on the arcade side of the fucking mode, of all the point shit, brakes were just worthless in this one, because the game does a really good job of braking, and so having brake stats is just dumb. It's really fucking stupid. And so all the bikes on the right side are worthless, which means that the last bike you unlock in the fucking game you're never gonna use because it's shit compared to what you already got beforehand. Your final reward is a bike, and the bike they give you is garbage. I just. This is supposed to help basically sell the fucking bikes and shit too, because this was sponsored. These are sponsored bikes and fucking, like, pro riders probably. Actually, they're not. They're not pro riders, they're just one named people. But they definitely got sponsorship for the bikes and the helmets. And this is the best they could do to honor the sponsorships, which is really just insulting, in all honesty. And the thing is, even though this game is god awful, I I think only barely anybody knows this game. I honestly believe that very little people have actually known of this game's existence. And barely anybody's played this too. So those sponsors, I don't know what they were doing, but it wasn't worth it considering that barely anybody played basically what is considered a bargain bin fucking game. And here's the last cross country, which is trash. We start off around here in a drop, and uh, yeah, I gotta go this way for this item here, which is awkward to get already. And then I gotta drop down, and then go left first. Gotta go climbing up, and getting this item here. Cause it's way out of the way. And then I respawn over to here and then I continue on down this way. If I went any other way, it would be extremely hard to get a fucking gold here. Because the time for gold in this one's actually fairly strict. Whereas all the other ones weren't that strict. Yeah, see 13 seconds. I would have to turn around and gone back, which is more than 13 seconds. Alright. It's, it's dumb. The whole fucking... This whole map is dumb. It's not enjoyable. It's not, you know, fun. It's not well made. The challenges are absolute trash. And it's gonna get worse since we're now doing this one. Which... This might have, well actually it does have, the worst challenge fucking challenges of the entire game. I am kind of debating with the stopwatch one between this and I believe Alps, but not Alps, uh, Hawaii, but this one is no fucking contest. This one has the worst ones. You have pits. You have very narrow fucking, you know, planks, and not only that, but you have very narrow, out-of-the-way platforms to get across. And it's all just fucked, and the way they're all, you know, lined up and such, makes them extremely confusing. Tell me, when you've been watching this so far, have you been able to tell where all the rings have been so far, and all the directioning that the game's given us. Because, trust me, for some of these, I had to look at a fucking, like, viewpoint thing. Because, it sucked. It really sucked just how much these fucked me. Now, the jump ones here are easy, because 
this whole map is all about jumps. So, you're gonna get some good jumps. You're gonna get these. Uh, so, yeah, the dexterity ones are gonna be the greatest nightmare in this one. And that's just, like, a no-brainer there. But, there's a wheelie here that's also a pain in the ass. And... Oh god, the, the, de the dexterities are at their worst in this one. Like, on the first one you saw wasn't that bad, but when we get to two, it gets worse. And this is one that fucked me by the way, this is a wheelie that actually did screw me over. Because the next wheelie is on a very narrow plank, and if you fall down there, it's a fatal fall. So that's fun. I made up all my ground by just wheeling around here. And, uh, yeah, I did indeed win this one for the gold. So, yeah, the wheelies are still the easiest out of all of these, but at the same time, they're giving us a little bit of a challenge, finally, way too late in the game. It doesn't really matter much because dexterity here is the true nightmare. And, yeah, here's some more jumps, which, you know, getting the big boy jumps here is very easy. Very big boy jumps. So, yeah, the jump challenge is a joke, and you'll win these no matter what. If you can't get a gold here, I don't know what to say. So, now comes Dexterity 2. This is Dexterity 2. You start off with a fucking drop that you can blindly see. And then you have to make a very fucking narrow turn to drop down into a narrow bridge on a different angle. And then it's move sailing from there. The second half is fine. The first half took me about 20 attempts, with a lot of restarts from falling. Why the fuck did they make this? Are the garden developers psychopaths? Like... This is not good mountain biking. In any sense the fucking word, this is just bullshit. And that's why I can basically say about mountain back adrenaline. A lot of this is not mountain biking, it's just a load of bullshit. And it makes mountain biking look not fun. Also, I got stuck so that really got screwed over. And then they give you a jump here. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm not drinking much fun a lot. But yeah, they give you a jump there before then giving you a fucking ring. And here comes Dexterity 3, which, by the way, it has a loop-de-loop. -loop. Yes. This is all like a fucking course thing. And there's a loop-de-loop. -loop. I can basically tell you right now, you are never going to make that loop-de-loop. -loop. Because the way this game is made, the way the game is programmed, it doesn't accept loop-de-loops. You're gonna fail every time you try the fucking loop. Why would you put a loop in your game if you can't fucking ride? I just don't even. And I didn't know where the last one was, so I looked behind me and saw it's back at the start. Do you see the problem here? How are you supposed to know this? What the fuck? And then you have to turn around and jump off that and just... I... I don't like that one. I don't like this one either, what we're doing right now. Because it's all rock. It's all fucking rock. Narrow, awkward, easy to get stuck in rock. With a lot of narrow paths in the middle of all of this. I just... I hate this. I genuinely hated doing this one. 
and I don't think I'd be alone on this either. And then there's the last bit here, which you would not figure out normally unless you realize that this is the actual path the game intends for you to take. And there you go. That was just horrible, and it took me a lot of attempts to and a lot of time. Ugh. But you know what? It has the easiest arcade of all of them. Because we know how to exploit this game and its score, right? We are well aware of how to get some big points, and that is from exploiting jumps. <clears throat> this entire fucking map is nothing but jumps. It is a jump heavy map. If a lot of tramps and a lot of fucking like, you know, chasms and shit to jump over. It's a high place map, so obviously it's going to be jump centric. So, because of that, that makes it super easy for me to just exploit the fuck out of it like I'm going to right now. Especially with a speed boost here. So yeah. Arcade is just really easy in Grand Canyon as long as you know that you can exploit the fuck out of it with the jumps. And uh, for the most part in this one I kinda did. For the first half, I didn't, but afterwards, yeah, I just went for this ramp here, which is one of the best places to actually get scoring, by the way. Just jump off at doing a 360, and you get a lot of points out of it. And you will win these every time thanks to this ramp. The point difference they give you for this does not justify how easy it is to get points in this. Like, they think the hardest here is 2400 points when you can easily score 3000 in like no time with this fucking map. Which kind of goes to show me that I did not play this any of this shit because a lot of these scores have stayed the fucking same. Have you thought about that for a second? On how, for pretty much all of these, a lot of them go up to only 2,000? Almost all of them only went up to a maximum of 2,000. Me going up to 3,000 is way more than the developers expected players to go for with this challenge. How? Fucking how? I don't even... And anyway, now we get into Trick and Run, which is also easy. There's only one Trick and Run that is a fucking nightmare, and it's the last one because of the way that's lined up. If you ignore the lineup, if you can, like, get past that, this is just nothing. And also, here I am just going upwards on a fucking wall and making a quick jump, and that counts as a monster jump because of the trick I'm doing. If it wasn't for the fact this was exploitable, maybe, just maybe, this would be difficult. This would be a challenge. But because it's so easily exploitable, there's nothing here. There's just nothing here to fucking give a shit about. And it's so easy to find this exploit and to commit to it. You can even do it you can even do it in like an accident. You can actually find the shit out by complete accidents. Cause you might be thinking you're gonna fall down and fucking die or whatever on a jump, and so you press the restart button, hope you can recover yourself. And you end up gaining a lot of points out of it. 
and you wouldn't even realize that that is a thing until that happens. And also, some of these spots are so blindsided, it's so easy to bail around here because a lot of these jumps, a lot of this path, you can hardly fucking see them. For anyone doing this on their first attempt, they're gonna fucking fail quite a bit just to figure out where the fuck everything is. It's really not well made. It's really bad. This game is really bad. I don't have anything nice to really say about this game now. Because if I did, then this video wouldn't be made due to the fact that, quite honestly, I would not give that much of a shit about it. But I ended up doing so because of Insetic and because the game does exist. And there's another one by Solomon that I'm probably doing at some point in the future as well. It's fucking kayaking though. I don't even know how it's going to be. Because there are references on video games when it comes to biking. Like, there's plenty. But fucking kayaking? I can't think of many when it comes to kayaking that are actually good and in 3D. I really can't think of any of that. Like, maybe taking notes from a surfing game or whatever, or a wakeboarding game or whatever, there are that, but even then, I worry about how horrid that game's gonna be because this game was trash. So what the fuck could that be like? I'm expecting the worst when it comes to the kayaking one because like, I don't expect it to be better than this. If it is, I just question what the fuck was the point of making a biking game if the engine you have is better at boats is better at being on water than it is dealing with actual ground. Because when it comes to ground, this game has been fucking terrible at it because small rocks get me stuck for, for good. Going up very mildly, you know, steep hills gets me stuck. This game cannot handle shit like uphill and, you know, rocky surfaces at all. It's embarrassing for a fucking mountain biking game for you to be unable to go up a rocky surface, which is mainly what fucking mountains are. I just... What did I bail on? Did I bail on a fucking, like, branch? I... I don't even. I don't even. I really don't even. And now we're on the final fucking challenge. And this one did, did took me... Like, this is my third time I'm showing you. Because... When I have to get this shit done... You'll find that... Actually getting the fucking exits here and actually getting the key here is a pain in the ass. And the reason I say this is mainly because of the fact that you start off in the high place and in order for you to get out of this high place once you get the key, you have to jump off. And the jump is apparently so high that she will almost always bail when you try. Even with a jump boost, you can bail. So I got lucky there by making a very awkward landing on the side. But if you don't really do that, you're gonna get hurt a lot and you're not gonna make the fucking jump. So yeah. 
that was Grand Canyon. I went through a sign. I think I'm done here. What did I get for doing 100%? Fucking nothing! There was no point in harvesting this game. The fucking final bike and freedom mode are the final unlockables of the game. And that's only 70% of the fucking game. I'll show you freedom mode. Just on Rocky Mountains though. But I will go ahead and show you this map. So that you can see that it really is just a free ride. Like... I am just amazed and fucking disgusted at how bad this game is. It's not rewarding. It's not enjoyable. It's not even that challenging, but at the same time, it is. And it's just trash. It's so trash. It's not a good representation of mountain biking. It makes the bikes and the helmets look like complete shit. Because the bikes are worthless. And the helmets are worthless, I mean. And the bikes, only half of them are worth your time. And the final bike you get is the shittiest one. Because it has low stats on speed. But the only high stat you really get is brake. And when it comes to this game... Brake sucks. You already have good brake. You don't need more brake. And now I'm dead. And I think that's the best way to end this fucking game. So, I'm now going to show the credits after I show the statistics real quickly to show you that yes, we have 100% of the game, everything is done. And we got nothing out of it for gaining all 82 gold medals. And yet, there were only 20 challenges in Rocky Mountain, apparently. I... Oh god, not, not Rocky Mountain, I mean in fucking uh, Grand Canyon. So thanks, Nobilis, for giving us... A god-awful game. And yeah, fresh engine technology. I haven't seen this engine used anywhere else, and I'm 100% certain it's by Fresh 3D, who I believe only made these Solomon games. So, yeah. They suck. Next time, I'm gonna do a fun game. I'm not really going to show you another, like, skating or biking game just yet. But I will show you a fun game. That I find fun, at least. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick play of Mountain Bike Adrenaline. And all of the crappiness that is contained in this game. The only good thing I can tell you is... The music is usually nice, this credit song is nice. But yeah, that's gonna do it for us. Also, special kiss? What? Why? Whatever. Whatever. Fucking. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on another Let's Play. But we're gonna play something that's actually fun and decent. See you then.